Thank you, Tim. I'm gonna hold the mic like this. They said that they can hear in the back, so until my arm gets tired, hopefully you'll be able to hear it. But as Tim said, my name is Ron Carroll. I am one of the co-founders of Collabor Music. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is a rock star, a bonafide rock star. This is uh, James Kotek of the Scorpions. You might have heard of them. They uh, have sold 75 million records. They have songs such as The Winds of Change, which is a song I still pull my lighter out to every time I hear it, as well as Rock You Like a Hurricane. And we had the good fortune of meeting with James two weeks ago. We sat down with him, showed him Collabro. He was incredibly excited. He said it was an incredible uh, product and he wanted to get more involved. And we're still talking to him about what that exactly means, but instead of just summarizing the lunch, we might as well just read this quote. And he said, Collabro is an exciting project that has an electric vibe that is exciting and fresh. I know a winner when I see one. So why is James so excited? Well, I'm here today to tell you about that. Collabro is all about music collabor education through collaboration. And what that means is we want to create as many musicians as possible so that there's as much music as possible. You may think there are plenty of musicians out there, but there could be a lot more. By a show of hands, who here has tried to pick up an instrument at one point in their life? All right, keep your hands up for a second. Don't be shy. Who with their hands up still actively plays today? That's a significant drop off. Zach, you're like the only one in this whole segment. <laughs> Statistics from the U.S. Department of Education show similar drop-offs for students from nine, year old, nine years old to 17 years old. These are students who are taking music classes in primary education as well as private lessons. So 39% of the girls that are nine years old that take music in school also take private lessons. It's 33% for the boys. By the time they turn 17, however, the girls drop down from 39 to 13 and the boys, it's even worse, 33 to 9%. That's a lot of music, and a lot of musicians we're missing out on, unfortunately. The reasons are pretty obvious. Picking up a new instrument starts off as a lot of fun, as many new things do. However, it can quickly become very frustrating. As a musician, I can tell you. As you, whoever raised their hands, you know it's frustrating. And in the worst case scenario, the student can actually quit, giving up on what could be a potentially very fruitful, lifelong pursuit. I almost quit. I went through all the same frustrations that many students go through. I took lessons for several years, played drums for several years, and I was this close to quitting my instrument. And it would have been for the same reasons. I was bored, tired of practicing. I had no ability to measure my progress. I had a lack of incentive to practice. And most importantly, there was absolutely no social connectivity. And music is a social thing. People pick up an instrument in order to play with others, as well as play in front of others. So to deprive yourself of that kind of defeats the whole point. But I didn't quit. I still play drums to this day. And the reason was I went over to a friend's house. We started jamming. And it was the first time I had ever created music. It was a watershed moment in my life. And drums are super important to who I am as a person that I cringe to think about if that didn't happen. And that's where Collabor comes in. Collabor is an online platform that allows students to easily make music together finally. Finally making it fun. Getting together. And that's the whole point. So this is how it works. Say we have Jan, who's a guitar student. That's represented by this red triangle, or a red rectangle. She puts up her guitar piece under the guise of her instructor. And then maybe we have a younger version of me, back in the day, putting up my drums to play with her. We have a band forming online virtually. It's like that same experience I had in that basement. Get a bass on there, why not? And then we can get other students giving their takes on what this song could be. Jan, is, all she sees is herself as the one guitar student because we wouldn't want to intimidate Jan as she's learning. However, for the instructor's view, there are multiple guitar students that they can grade in succession. So let's see what it actually is. Pretty well. I'm not a big fan of that first version, but I like this one. I think you like Jan. Feel free to So that intuitive, uh, novel arrangement paint is something that we're really proud about. And as you can probably guess, not only is it, is it cool for students putting together music, but it's also amazing for independent musicians. Anywhere in the world, someone can go and put, if they think they can do a song better than you can, they can just go ahead and add their track on there, and have, using social networks compete with you. Uh, and there's no wrong answer here. If my parents here, they'd probably download my version, but if Ryan's parents were here, they would probably download his. It's a really personalized music experience. Another use case that we developed based on the customer feedback that we got when we interviewed instructors in the education space was that they require a lot of their students to record their lessons, their in-person lessons, on their iPhones or Droid devices. 
a lot of times those students have too many pictures, too many versions of Angry Birds on there, and they can't record a full lesson. So since we already had the platform available, we developed a simple interface for them just to simply record these 30 minute lessons so that the student can go back at any time they want and listen to that lesson. Additionally, the instructor and the student can select a portion of this lesson indicated by the kind of darker stripe there and start a practice project on that. So this is also a view that parents, instructors, and students can see. After doing multiple practice lessons, as we see here, the student in the first week, they weren't practicing below, they weren't practicing above the threshold that was established by the instructor at the 25 minute mark. It's really faint, you probably can't see it there. But as they go further along, they practice more and more and it's easy to check on their progress. At any point, the instructor or student or mom or dad can go and see what was actually done on those particular days. For example, on this day, there was one practice assignment, three attempts at the practice assignment, three grades, as well as one project that they all collaborated on. So you may be wondering, well, how do people get their music actually on Glamour? Well, they don't use this, which is kind of the industry software. I've seen NASA space shuttles that are easier to fly than this. Like, I'm not joking. And I stayed at a Holiday Inn last night and I can't operate this one, so that should say something. <laughs> Glamour is all about being simple. We want eight-year-olds to be able to use it as well as 68-year-olds. If you've got a webcam, you come on our site, you press that red button right there, and instantly you can record without having to buy $200 to $1,000 software. It's not that we're competing with those software packages. We just want amateurs and novices to get on here as easily as possible. It provides the basic functionality you need in recording an audio suite, such as recording, the ability to adjust volume levels and panning levels, and position tracks in relation to each other. So we're not replacing lessons, we're the perfect complement for lessons. Right now, sit-down lessons cost approximately $100 on average. Uh, those are 30-minute lessons per week. So Collabor comes in and adds, you still have the sit-down lessons, but instead of the instructor crossing their fingers hoping that the student was practicing, they can actually see that they were practicing. You also have the collaboration and social aspects the ability for the student to track their progress, which is a huge thing. We've heard instructors say that a lot of students quit because they don't feel like they're progressing. But when, from the instructor's view, they really are. It's kind of hard when you have iterative progression by yourself to see how far you've come. And all this creates a more engaged student, which increases retention. And that's very important for places like Mom's Music. Mom's Music is one of the premier, if not the premier music store in the Louisville area. We went to Mom's as well as many other music stores for our customer validation with instructors. Moms was very excited about what we were showing them. They like Collabor because retention is important to them. As you can see on this sign here, come and take lessons on your favorite instrument. It's part of their bottom line, it's part of their revenue model, and they need to keep that going. Students who quit make it harder, they have to churn through more students, get more students in the, the funnel. Additionally, musicians who do, do not become full-fledged musicians do not go back to Moms and buy strings or drumsticks, and they do not add to the musical ecosystem, which is really important. Instructors like Collabor because increased retention, churn rate is reduced as well. And when, for an educator to lose a student, it's really defeating, especially when they see how far that person has come and they don't. So they like that, as well as revenue sharing. We split a portion of our uh, profits with the instructors in order to increase the likelihood that they will get their students on there. Parents love Collabor because it's more like, we joke, we call it instrument insurance. And what I mean by that is, you know, if one of our mentors bought their son a drum set for $500 and did six months of lessons at $100 a month, and their student, their kid is no longer plays. That's a problem. That's a huge waste of investment, and it's depriving us of that musician. It's really unfortunate. So we've got a leveraged marketing approach. We go to stores like Moms, which has allowed us to partner with them, which I'll get to on a little bit more later. Moms has approximately 20 instructors that teach approximately 800 students. At $10 per month per student, that's quite the opportunity. We estimate on the data that we have, that there are 11,000 plus students in the Louisville area. That's based on the fact that there are three million students taking private lessons in the US. This does not include K through 12, Suzuki, um, private school, home school, anything like that. This is just private education, less private lesson. And that's what we're focusing on first. We'll expand to the other things as we can. So who are we, where we've come from? Well, Collabor was founded in 2012 as a tech test for my band. Um, as a drummer, you know, drummers are kind of weird, so I would do like a lot of heavier stuff in our music. It wasn't necessarily conducive to the music. So we would have these battles in the, our storage unit we were practicing, and I was like, why don't we just put both up there and let my parents, well, not my parents, they pick whichever one I wanted, but our friends vote and see which one actually works the best. So from there, we were showing a lot of uh, independent musicians, got a lot of great customer validation on that. 
But then we also kind of came across how applicable this could be to the education market and how much of that could help that, which is a very, per like, for me, that's a very important personal cause. I want to play with more musicians, so I need more musicians to make. This became even more apparent in the Velocity program as we were doing customer validation and saw how passionate the instructors were about Flapper and how like, excited they were to use something like that. So we kind of changed our focus to pro focus on this initially. However, or more excitingly, in uh, next week, which is the first week in September, we're going to begin our pilot program with two instructors at Moms Music that have approximately 55 students. Uh, going forward, we're hoping or we're aiming for at least, at least, and we think this is very achievable, 10,000 students. That would give us a revenue run rate of $1.2 million per year, as well as opening up to all the independent musicians as we get the product really hammered out. So, pretty great idea, an audacious idea requires a pretty great, audacious, and sometimes a reverent team, and that's what you got here. Myself, I'm the CEO, been the tech guy, um, been working, you know, databases, web applications, and uh, Fortune 100 companies for over five years now. I've been building web apps myself. I am wearing a blindfold there. Like I said, drummers are kind of weird. It's part of the show. Um, Ryan Michaels, who's our CMO, our Chief Marketing Officer, has a lot of experience in the uh, political arena. And I always like to say if he can sell an idea and a candidate to you, he can definitely sell a product that will truly benefit the people it was intended for. We're really excited to have him. He's very limitless energy. Um, Ariel Paplin has been with Collabor in the very beginning. Kind of like my right-hand man, very important to me. Takes care of all the business stuff. Have been, has been heavily involved with the uh, ideation and collaborate wouldn't happen if he wasn't here. We got an amazing board of advisors, so I'm only gonna highlight two out of the five. Gil Holland, founder of Sonoblast Records. He has uh, approximately, I think, 25 acts on that record label, one of which was on Fort Castle, the past, they're a great band, you should check them out. Um, and they also license a lot of their music to TV, like, TV channels. Their music has been on shows on MTV, things like that. Max Maxwell, one of the co-owners of Mom's Music, likes collaborating up. And we like Max enough that we thought it was a perfect fit with the domain expertise to bring him on our board. He is a uh, career musician, lifelong drummer, lifelong educator. We're just really excited to have him on board. We're raising $500,000 today to take our platform that we have now, build in a mobile app, which will allow students to more easily get on Collabor and create music with each other, as well as practice, interact with their instructors. Additionally, we need uh, these funds for iterative development on the platform that we have now. There are some features that have been requested that we need to add. Of course, we will be heavily marketing using something similar to a smart car. We're really gonna hit this region hard, and the reason why we're gonna do this is we can find all these stores in, on the internet. It gives us pinpoints, places to go to. Like I said, it's a leveraged marketing strategy, so we find these stores, we show the stores, they love it, the instructors love it, the students will grow to love it. So that's how we're gonna be with getting marketing. So. I was gonna end this singing Rocky like a hurricane, but that seems kind of appropriate, so. <laughs> So please, just instead, feel free to meet me at my booth. I'd love to talk to you about what we think could be the future of music, independent music, making more musicians. We're all excited about that. And thank you, and rock on.